But a little distraction from the football team that's dropped below 500 and equal the most losses in a season under Mac Brown with still three games to go. Last night in Manhattan, Kansas, where the Longhorns were one and two. In fact, they lost four out of six to K-State in Big 12 play. Opening kickoff, this is not what Mac Brown wanted to see. A very good return squad in K-State, and William Powell shows it. Win behind the Longhorns, but they couldn't get it into the end zone. Powell, 62 yards, and two plays later, they're outstanding running back Daniel Thomas knifes through the Texas defense. So unlike at Texas Tech and Nebraska, where the Horns started so strong, they were down 7-0 within a blink of the eye. Longhorns drive a little bit, get stalled, and then go for a fake field goal attempt, but the snap gets away from Justin Tucker and just more trouble for Texas. That did not lead to points. This does. Garrett Gilbert, ball batted. How many times have we seen that? Stephen Harrison with the interception. That leads to a K-State field goal. So Wildcats up 10 to nothing in the first quarter. They made a switch at quarterback before the game. They go with big sophomore Colin Klein and all he wanted to do was run and he ran that option to perfection. In fact, he didn't throw a pass or didn't rather complete a pass in the first half but he ran wild. That touchdown made it 17 to nothing. Meantime, Longhorn's just looking for something positive. Gilbert to James Kirkendall. A juggling catch right Right there, giving the Longhorns field position in K-State territory. They line up for a fake option punt, but Justin Tucker is short. Wouldn't have mattered. You see the flag right there. Penalty against the Longhorns. Another special teams play that goes south. And then Gilbert throws another interception. Harrison with his second pick right there. And then Klein one more time. Colin Klein Sophomore from Colorado, looked like a world beater, ran for over 120 yards. It was 24 to nothing, but Texas driving late in the first half. They're going to get the opening kick in the second half, so if they punch it in, get a quick score, it's a ball game. Wishful thinking. Gilbert picked by freshman Ty Zimmerman, and that puts an end to another drive, and the Longhorns go to the locker room down 24 to nothing. They come out of the locker room. As I mentioned, they were getting the football an absolute disaster. First pass to Sean Hales, tips it up in the air. Ball picked off. And in the process, you see 64, Kyle Hicks go down. Head injury, he was lost for the rest of the ball game. And Kansas State just kept pouring it on. There you see Klein, this time to Thomas again. Thomas, under his average, ran for 107 yards, but it didn't matter. Klein did the rest in the Longhorns with five turnovers. Then they lose Shockey Brown, the senior quarterback. Broken arm, and they go out of Kansas State on the wrong end of a 39-14 to 14 loss. I thought we'd win. Uh, I knew we haven't played well against Kansas State. I thought this would be a great place to turn it around. Senior day on the road, well-coached team. Uh, I even thought we, we would win the second half, so obviously I, I missed it uh, and really disappointed. It's disappointing to know just I didn't give our team a very good chance to win tonight. Right now our goal has got to be to get bowl eligible. We, I mean, you know, obviously that's not a goal that, that – at the beginning of the season, though, we had our sights on, but uh, that's where we are right now. We've got to, you know, we can't, we can't, we can't pick our circumstances. We got to deal with, we got to deal with what we got. It makes me feel uncomfortable and uneasy just because it's one of those deals that we've never experienced. Uh, we haven't been, you know, in this situation where we're four and five in a, at a losing season right now, and it's just one of those deals where. Uh, we, we want to change it as fast as we can. Realistically, we're trying to be a team that can end on a positive note and just play Texas tough football like we know how to play. And uh, right now, we're just going out there every week and playing hard. And, you know, playing hard is not enough sometimes. You know, you got to be able to execute on the field. It's frustrating. It's uh, This isn't Texas football the way we're playing right now. But we know we know the hearts we have in there. We know the, the fighters we have in there. And, and we're going we're gonna to come back from this. We're going to fight back. We're going to make it work. The message was, number one, if you like this, you should quit football. Because this isn't Texas football. This isn't what we've worked so hard for 13 years to do. You that played well, thank you. I appreciate the group that didn't quit. You kept working. You kept trying to do the things you need to do. Uh, but if any of you aren't willing to go back to work and try to do everything to beat Oklahoma State, then you ought to give it up. You ought to quit football because nobody in this room is quitting. We're going to go back to work.
Mike Davis, freshman single game reception record of 11. It is back home for the final three of the regular season. Texas only win at DKR was their home opener against Wyoming back on September 11th. Now they take on maybe the most explosive team in the Big, well, Big 12, rather, Oklahoma State.